Welcome back. We just heard from Jalen Daniels, so let's go to the quarterback down the road now. Yeah, expectations pretty high for Avery Johnson this coming year. K Nation's Glenn Kinley caught up with him in Vegas. Here's that one on one. Avery, as you go into your second year, but your first full year as a starter, what are you kind of hoping to showcase within your skill set or, or hoping to accomplish? Just continuing to show that uh, my passing ability and just being able to go out there and, and make plays and get the ball to, to playmakers in space. Yeah, talk to you about those playmakers that you have. We know the two guys you have in the backfield with you that are going to be, I think, really good, but uh, I think you got a lot of receivers that maybe people don't know about but might know about by the end of the year. Yeah, a lot of under the radar guys. Obviously, people know about our backfield and DJ and Dylan. And then you get into our receiver group. We haven't really had opportunity to showcase what we have at receiver. Um, but I feel like this year, like the sky's the limit for those guys. They worked hard all summer, and I really feel like people are going to be surprised when the season rolls around. How important is it for you? I watched a clip of Tom Brady talking about like getting his guys involved early in the game so that they know that they're there and that they're valued and that they're needed. How important is that for you? Maybe not even a game, but like even all summer to make sure that these guys know that like that you're seeing them. That's funny because I've seen that exact same clip, and I can't remember if Will sent it to me or, or BA, but it's it's super important because you know playmaker like guys feed off that and if you get a touch it could just be a touch out on the perimeter um, early in the game getting the, the the ball to guys like that to get to gain their confidence will just ultimately make the game easier for me because their confidence is going to go up and then they're going to be making plays all night you're the type of guy that always wants to help out as much as you can always want to be there how do you balance like drawing a line at some point of like you do have you do have class work to do and you do need to like have some downtime but you want to give as much as you can to this program yeah like it's hard for me because I'm not a person that likes to say no. And if people ask me for anything, like we were at the, the Royals game and they're trying to walk me through all these people and people are asking for pictures like, hey, we need to go, we need to go. And I'm like, if somebody asks me for a picture, I'm going to stop and take a picture with them. So it's hard for me to say no to people. So just let my dad do it or, or somebody trusted within can't, like the, the facility um, because they're like, there's people that'll, that that can say no for me. It's just it's just kind of hard for me to do it. Yeah. What's been the uh, biggest emphasis? Something that Matt Wells has been telling you over and over and over this summer. Preaches take care of the football. As far as when our plays go, he just says like, don't don't hold on to things. He says eliminate quickly. Those are the yeah. words he likes to use. Don't hold on to something for too long, and then if you're done with it, find the back. K State has had good receivers, but not like a dominant. Uh, receive or just like a time where you feel like you look at the stat sheet and these receivers are, do you feel like that's something that could inject energy into Wildcat fans to have a dominant uh, like downfield threat more than they've had in, in recent years? For sure I feel like it could excite fans. At the end of the day we just want to win football games and I, I mean if we throw for four th 400 yards in yeah. a game. Or 4,000 would be good Yeah too. 4,000 in a game. <laughs> if we throw for 400 in a game and win or we throw for 100 in a game and win, I guarantee the Cats fans will be just as excited. So I'm, I'm a competitor. I like to win. Is that your mindset individually too? I mean, if, if you have 500 passing yards and 200 rushing, or, or if you have 25 and 25 and DJ runs for eight touchdowns, you're just, you're just on board as long as the hey, final score looks right? I, like I said, I just like to win. So yeah. whatever, whatever it takes, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to win. Um, but I definitely think that, that we're going to be a, a little bit more explosive in the passing game this year. How quickly did you call Dylan Edwards when he was in the trash? As soon as he hit the portal. <laughs> FaceTimed him. Coach Kleiman okayed it to me, FaceTimed him, got him on a visit, got him scheduled for a visit, and then Coach Kleiman said handle it, yeah. and the rest is history. And you knew you knew he was going to be a cat? I knew it. Yeah. Uh, last one for you. I don't know how much you're allowed to tell me, but you got to test out the College Football 25 video game. I heard you say maybe they didn't have you quick enough on there. Yeah. But what were your immediate takeaways from the game? Really realistic. Like, the bill looked super realistic. They had all our alternate jerseys. They had the, the noises. Um, as far as our run out, they had our run out of the tunnel. I can't remember if they had the, wa the Wabash. But, yeah, they had, like, and it's good for a cat's first down. They had the roar after. As far as that, as far as I feel like the player, like, look, I feel like it was probably, like, the most unrealistic thing. And I feel like it's for me is because I see these guys every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like obviously these guys aren't like they can't get they it to a, a tee to you, yeah. of what guys look like. But um, yeah, I, that was really it was a lot of fun to play and just being able to play as your character in yeah. a video game, something I've always dreamed of. So I'm excited for it to, to actually drop so, so I can yeah. so I can play it a little bit more. All right, absolutely. Avery, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Man, knowing you're going to be the quarterback going into the season, 
it's going to be a lot of fun watching him as well. Oh, Two good was, quarterbacks. I was going to say, fun and scary. Fun and scary. That's a way I describe them too. <laughs>